Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in this video, I'm going to explain how we create a custom directive. Now, whenever we are appearing for the interview, everyone is going to ask you like, what is directive? And a question will be what, how do we create a custom directive? So normally everyone will go with that highlight directive. Don't say highlight directive because everyone is going to answer the same. Try to have some unique custom directive ready with you, at least create by yourself. Either you can create a tool tip, just like we are going to say allow number. So many different type of directives we have. Right. So try to have a unique answer because that will set you apart from the remaining candidate. Fine. So while discussing that uh, example, which we are going is, let's say we have a text box and we want to allow user only to type number. So you might say like we can have input type number also, but with input type number, if you press very hard, you can enter some text. There is a limitation for that. Right. But we just need a text box and with that text box, we just need to restrict user that he will only enter a number. So for that, we can write a custom directive. And for this kind of scenario, creating a directive is the best way. Fine. Now, what things we are going to discuss, how we create custom directive, how, why do we need a custom directive? What is host listener? Obviously in a directive, we use the host listener. And the finally, the scenario, like how to restrict user to enter numbers only in the text box. Now let's create a directive first. So this is the project I'm following Angular 18 logical scenario. You can say this is the project. Okay, sorry, login token I'm following, but the code will be same. Now I have a directive folder. Inside this directive folder, I will open a new terminal. And inside this new terminal, I have to create a custom directive. So the command will be ng generate directive. Either you can write generate directive full shot or the short form also fine. Let's say I'm creating a directive which will allow numbers only. So I will give a name as numbers only let's make it only capital enter so this will create my directive so you can see two files one is the test file and one is our actual file so this is what your directive will look like this is your selector just like the component we have a selector directive will look like this fine now let's say in the dashboard component let's try to get a text box mm -hmm input type text box let's try to navigate to what is it dashboard now this is a text box so now you can see i'm able to type text also number also special character also everything i'm able to type but what why what i need is user only should be able to type number only he should not able to type string characters anything fine or as even special character as well. So for that, we are going to write the logic. So the event which we will write is key down. So once user press the key, after that, we need to write the event. So for that, we need to create the host listener. So let's write it. So in our directive, what we need to write, our first thing lies, we need to write the host listener. So that will be at the rate host listener. So once you select it, import will be automatically added. See? Input has been automatically added at the top. Host listener has normally two parameter, event name and the argument. So event name, key down. Okay. Then second parameter, we will have the array of events. So just dollar event we will have. Okay. Then we have method on key down. Sorry. In string, we need to provide it. Now over here, for this function, we are going to get the event. So let's add an event. Data type will be, it's a keyboard event. So keyboard event. Fine. Now here we need to first write if condition. Now what I'm going to do, event dot key. We need to, event dot key means what key user has typed that we will get. And that too, we will get it in the string format. See? It's, it will have a string value. So we will compare with this less than equal to with zero. First, we are going to have multiple conditions. So one more round bracket, I will add it over here. This 
either it should be zero and greater than zero and less than nine. Only zero to nine numbers we have. This is first condition. Second condition like we have so many buttons also like tab, uh, backspace so that also we need to allow so for that i'm just creating one more array so constant allowed buttons is equal to square bracket let's say we have backspace this is the uh what do we say text we get once we press the backspace then let's say tab is there again so many buttons are there which we might have to use so you can do that like left arrow right arrow you can add it now this is the first condition then or second condition again round bracket now second condition you can see we have numpad also so there also same thing we need to add so even dot key instead of zero now it you will get num pad zero like this you will get and Again, same thing, but with less value with numpad nine. Fine. Then one more we will have R and what we need to compare with this allowed button dot includes what we need to include event dot key. If it is there, if the key pressed is in my array or not like this. So if this condition, all these conditions are true, then we will simply return. We don't need to do anything. But in else, we need to restrict that event. So by event dot prevent default, we can do that. Prevent default. Fine. Let's just check this if we are able to do this. So we this is the very basic logic. Now this directive I have to use into my dashboard component. So from Angular, this is my Angular 18 project. So all components and everything is standalone. If you have the old one, you don't have to import it. Actually, it will be available. But if you have our project is after Angular 17, you need to import it. Then only you can use it. So numbers only. I'm importing it. Then in my text box, I will add it. Let's just save it. And let's try to check it. So now if I type, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm typing character, but I'm not able to write it. But see, numbers are there. Let's try to debug it also now. Let's open the console. Sources. So let's add a debugger over here. Fine. Now if I type character A. So now you can see event dot key. We have C A. Okay. So it will, it is not zero and numpad zero. So it will go to the else block and prevent dot default. Now, if I type 5, so event dot digit 5, okay? So now it will bypass the zip condition and it will return. So now 5, why 5 is not visible? I think scroll bar is there. Let's try 6. Something is wrong. Let me just close the debugger. It is taking some space or what? It is visible. Characters are not getting typed. Okay. So working fine. Now, this is very basic logic of your, if you want to restrict the user to enter only numbers. This is the basic logic. One more thing is there. Now, if I have, if I copy this and if I try to paste it. Why testing is also disabled? Because we didn't write, okay, key down. Control V also is not working. Let's try paste. Yeah. So see why once I try to paste it, it is allowing it. Because we didn't enter any text. We tried with this context menu. So we are able to paste it. So this scenario also we need to handle. Because whenever we write the custom directive, we need to make sure everything we are covering, it should not break. Correct. So now let's write for the testing one. So to write the code on the paste or copy. So we know like how when we do copy paste, that data gets stored into the clipboard API. So we need to write an event for that. So 
at the rate host listener what type of event will be paste then square bracket single quote dollar event on paste again we will get the event as a parameter now data type will be clipboard event because we are going to get the clipboard data so event will be clipboard now here we need to read the clipboard data so constant clip data is equal to now we need to specify the data type also data transfer will be the data type is equal to clipboard data dot sorry event in the event we will get it so event dot clipboard data fine why it is saying like this okay declared and never use so this is the first thing and now we have got the clipboard clipboard data whole clipboard data we have got over here in the clip data now from that we just need to read the data so again i'm creating one more constant variable text is equal to clipboard data clip data dot get data what type of data we need to get the text one so text fine why we are getting error oh either null or something error is there how we can handle this let's add a or check and because some browser have some browser we will get directly in the event or from somewhere we get we have to get the data or we will keep it as empty again it is giving error string is not assignable mm, i thought so because it will need adds undefined we provided the data type let's try the windows one so windows as any dot clipboard data window as any why we are not suggesting clipboard data yeah so error is gone now here we need to text whatever the copy text is there we will get it over here now this we need to match it with the uh, that uh, string is there now with uh, what we can test it so not symbol will be there then where is this symbol this just a regular expression is there you can find it by simply googling it also and then we have plus dollar again slash this is our regular expression we can test it what we need to test whatever the text we have got so if it is there we will again prevent it so event dot prevent default let's try this if after copy pasting also we are able to paste it or not now if i paste it see still i'm not able to paste but if i commented this code now we don't have restriction over the pasting so now you can see we are able to paste it got it so these are the scenarios which we need to make sure whenever we are creating a custom directive so i hope this was a short video and it is helpful whenever you are appearing for the machine test or uh, sorry interview make sure you have a unique idea which you can explain when you are explaining what is custom directive like this or custom creating tooltip also is also there that video also i have done it fine and these are very real industrial purpose directives which we cannot obviously while practicing we cannot create like this but these are the directive which we do when we work on an actual industrial project so be just familiar with this kind of concept so that's it if you are new please do like and subscribe